Hey, Buttheads, and thanks for tuning in. Um, I wanted to go over a few things before I play the clip of my dad and I talking about how he got yelled at by Sean Connery, and I made a few notes. Okay, first things first. I pronounced the name of the book and movie wrong, and it pisses me off so fucking much. And you say, hey, Julie, why don't you re-record? Well, I liked the banter between me and my dad. It was real life. It wasn't rehearsed, and we all make mistakes, and I just think it's fucking hilarious. Like, what the fuck? Um... Yeah, so I call it the ghost of Mrs. Muir, and it's the ghost and Mrs. Muir, so my bad. Two, I should probably introduce who my dad is because I don't do that in the video. My dad is Bob Lee Mandel, that's his writer's name, and his um, partner, his writing partner, is named Lowell Gans, and they wrote Parenthood, A League of Their Own, Where the Hardest, City Slickers. I mean, just, there's a lot more, just go IMDb him. Anyways, he was at the top of his game in Hollywood. That's his words, not mine. I still think he's doing just fine. Anyways, so this was like in the early 90s, like 94, maybe 95, I think, when this all, the meeting took place of my dad meeting Sean Connery. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, last thing. Don't judge my dad for wearing socks and sandals. It's not his fault. He has horrible fashion sense. Um, I mean, don't judge me either. I'm wearing a Lamb Before Time shirt from Target, so who am I to say shit? Anyways, here's the video of my, me and my dad shooting the shit and talking about how he got yelled at by Sean Connery. <laughs> how the fuck do I stop this thing? Shit, guys. I'm the world's shittiest influencer. I'm so sorry. I'm with my dad. Oh, should I get in my jammies? <laughs> Oh, I wish we had like those little hats that you know, like in oh, old sitcoms. Like, you yeah. know what they would be? Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes. Like the white and like a yeah, little white. Yeah, and I have light. a little candle. Good night. Oh, and then we go. We go out to the, use the uh, the outhouse. And, yeah, and, and I feel like we're like, like the, Scrooge McDuck would probably have yes, all this. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. So story time with my dad, who. Um, I had called him the other day. I was looking for an old movie to watch. And I'm old, so no, <laughs> I'm older as in like the 30s and 40s. And I came across The Ghost of Mrs. Muir from 1947 um, with Gene Ternery from Laura, uh, George Sanders, who is Sher Khan, <laughs> who is in The Jungle Book. He, the it was Sher Khan, right? Right, yes. Okay, Sher Khan. Or Sher Cohen. If he's it, Jewish. If he's Jewish. Yeah, yes. okay, yeah. From, from the Bronx? Yes. Uh, and then, George, uh, I said George Sanders. Rex, Rex Harrison. Harrison. And that was the reason it stopped me because I don't like Rex Harrison. So I called to ask you. What I thought of the movie. And it's yes. a high, it's, it's, it's a high class movie. It's, it's it, 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 Joseph Mankiewicz. Didn't he write it or direct yes. it? Well, both. He might have done no. both. Well, I don't think he got the credit for writing, but he definitely directed he it. He directed it. It's a, it's a high class movie. It's class. So why well, she called me as a, you know, by the way, I don't know if you know this. In 1995, we were asked to do a rewrite. Uh, to do, they were going to make Fox was going to remake Ghost of Mrs. Muir. And we go, hmm. But they said, well, here's the thing. We, we, we'd we like to do it with Sean Connery. Now. So, like, I always knew that you had a meeting with Sean Connery, but I never knew that it was this was the movie that it was. This was the movie. This was the movie. And I go, Sean Connery, you know, this is 1995. Since 1962, where Dr. No came out, I have been a fan. I mean, a real fan, a diehard fan. And, and in, I remember in 1964, my parents, from because I begged them, back then movies didn't didn't open up wide. So, so super, super limited. So super, super limited. We live in New York. They opened up in Manhattan. And eventually after a month, they might have spread out to one theater like in the boroughs. So I taught my parents opening weekend. That's how they indulged me. To go down to Manhattan, we had dinner with my brother, and we went to see Goldfinger. So that movie was special, because it's still special, because I think about how much I enjoyed it, and how much my parents, because they're gone now, they were kidnapped. <laughs> oh! Yes. They, they okay? Yeah, no? well, I didn't feel like paying the ransom, so anyway. Oh, easy there, Paul Getty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, that, so, so Goldfinger was special. So when I heard... When I heard about this meeting, I got really excited, and 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 I said, "Boy, I got to get him to autograph something." And I have a, a little Goldfinger item that, so I brought it to the meeting, and I'm sitting there, you know, getting like, ready, like, reading, like reading Santa Claus. You're ready to meet Santa Claus. Yeah. 
So, so we go, we go to CAA because they represented us. They represented Sean Connery. And they put us in this enormous, enormous, you know, the the A A A A meeting room. So, you like know, the top but, board, like yeah, board you know, board. it's 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 the, the, this table that was in there was probably used in in Top Gun. That's where the airplanes took off from. Okay. So Lola and so I were I sitting at this. It. So Lola and I were sitting in this plane. And, and we're sitting in this room. It's just uh, two of us. It's two of us and some, you know, for refreshments because, you know, they were showing. And then the door tentatively opens up and, you know, a middle-aged woman comes in and, and she just looks a little harried. And she said, um, Sean uh, will, will be in here moment, momentarily. He, um, he's down the hall and he uh, just got into a fight. And I go, fight? You mean argument? No, she meant, <laughs> and then she left. So Lola and I are sitting in this room. We don't know what to do. Maybe warm up a little. <laughs> <laughs> I, we don't, you know, I'm going, oh my God, this is a form of Mr. You know, Mr. Universe, Mr. 1953. Oh, you remember that one? Yeah, yeah. and he was buff then too, man. <laughs> and, 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 and had his own, you know. So anyway, so we're sitting there. We don't know what to, how, how to handle this. And suddenly the door flies open and there he is, Sean Connery. And he looked like he was ready to start World War Three. And he strides into the room, he reaches into his his coat, and he takes out a small tape recorder and slams it down on the table. And he said, I'm recording this meeting. I won't be bullshit to anymore. Whatever you say. So we're sitting there shaking like it's 1906 and it's uh, the San Francisco earthquake. So, so, so then we start our pitch. And and eventually, you know, we 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 won him over, and he he obviously that we weren't there to bullshit him. We were we're writers, just ready to do our job. And he softened. Two and, tiny Jews from New York. Uh, yeah, well, like... yes, and and he softened, and 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 eventually, um, at the end of the meeting, I asked him, Mr. Connery, would you do me a favor and and, and autograph my my Goldfinger? And he did. He said. To Babalu, all my best wishes, Sean Connery. And every time I look at this, I think about my parents taking me downtown, and I think about him yelling at us and frightening the shit out of us. I would be honored it's, to be yelled at by him. <laughs> it, it was a per yes. So that's the story.